Well, hello everybody. It's Brother Todd with your Victory Minute, and I hope you guys and gals out there are all having a great day. Hey, today I need to start with a confession. There's something I never have confessed. I need to confess it because I feel a little guilty about what I'm going to ask you to do unless I make this confession first. So, years ago, when they come out with cell phones and put cameras on them, right, and everybody's running around taking these selfies. Of course, you know, Coming up when I did, that was obviously something that, that didn't go on. And everybody's making these silly faces and all this stuff, taking these pictures. And I thought it was the silliest thing in the world. Boy, and I really aggravated people, especially men. Oh, I wore these guys out taking these selfies and buying selfie sticks and being so narcissistic and all this kind of stuff. And anyway, I just wore them out. Well, never even thought about needing to make this confession until uh, COVID came out. And when COVID and the pandemic started, one of the things, of course, we didn't know what was going on and every day was changing with what we were going to be doing with the church and what was happening, getting information to everybody in the church. We started these Victory Minutes. And uh, staff asked me, said, Brother Todd, do you think it'd be a good idea? You do the kind of a little old deal, put information out there. And then, of course, they just kind of grew as everything kind of got settled. We weren't putting out information about the pandemic every day. Uh, it just kind of turned into different devotional thoughts and letting people know what was going on. It just been something we've done all this time. Well, as soon as I went to make one of those things and hit that little camera and turned it around backwards, I thought about all the trouble I gave people about making videos of their self and taking pictures of their self and all that. And my mind raced back to when I was probably about 14, 15, 16. And that's the confession I need to make. Well, about that time, they came, of course, back then we just had cameras. If you wanted to see a picture you took, you had to have a Polaroid. Now, they were very expensive. That's when the camera co picture come out the bottom and you'd shake it, blow on it. Some of you old people know what I'm talking about to get that picture to develop. Well, I was just a kid and I couldn't afford anything like that. But I found me a little old cheap, what they used to call a 110, okay? You know, like a 35 millimeter, it's a 110. It's a real small little little camera and oh, about yay big and you put a roll of film in it and it'd take any from, from 12 to 24 pictures depending on the, the roll you bought and you had to get them all developed and so you really had to know hey i really want this picture it wasn't like today where you take a thousand pictures up and delete them all now the bad thing was is we missed some shots the good thing was we actually still have those pictures because i'm bad never have run pictures off my phone and i lost every picture i had on my old phone a wave took me out and um uh, down in Mexico uh, one time and uh, law, anyway, we the phone. So, uh, so that was the trade-off. But anyway, every roll of film I had, and again, you might have 12 pictures. You might have eight even. You might have 24, but it didn't matter what camera uh, or what roll of film I had, I would take the camera and I, <laughs> I'd hold it up like this and I would take a picture of myself just right straight in, in my face. And it's just this glaring picture of this 15 year old kid. <laughs> so my mama used to tell me, boy, you wasting your money. Every roll of film, I swear to y'all, I never put a roll of film in that camera. I didn't turn around, take a picture of myself. If I could have found one of them old pictures, I'd have brought it today just to, 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 <laughs> to confess that I was taking selfies before selfies was even cool. And I thought, I'm, I'm going to ask people to take a selfie video. And I thought, man, you, you, y'all don't even know how much trouble I gave guys over turning a camera around, taking a picture of their self. I mean, I just, I, I really pulled their man card on it. But anyway, so I thought I better make that confession to y'all that back in 1981, I wasted many a dollar on a roll of film just to start. I can't convey to y'all. All it was was just my straight up face. Anyway, say, preacher, well, you've lost your mind. What are you telling me all this far? Well, I want you to make a selfie. I want you to take a selfie. I want you to take, in particular, a selfie video. And what I want you to do is I want you to uh, make you a little video. It don't have to be long. Sure, don't talk as long as I do. But just to send out and blast out to your friends on Facebook, Instagram, if you're on TikTok, whatever it is, just shoot a video asking people that are going to recognize you, okay? Hey, come to church with me on Easter. Now, you can do this one of two ways. I know some of y'all, you have to be with us online because of distance or, or health and all of those kinds of things. Uh, but but you can have a virtual viewing. We on, on, At 10 o'clock on Easter morning, 
everything we do goes out live stream and you could do a virtual viewing with you and the friends wherever they are in the world okay just to kind of have you a little viewing party of being at that 10 o'clock Easter morning service central time and 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 just set that up just invite people to come the other hand too is invite people to come with you to the campus okay just to be here with you, tell them, hey, you know, those of y'all that know me, I'm going to be hanging around out front. I'm going to be inside, walk in, ask anybody where I'm at and uh, and get people to come with you. It's a great opportunity uh, to come. You know, mo most people don't go to church because they had not been asked. OK, hey, they don't they don't have, um, you know, some people got a belief system against it and all that kind of stuff. But most people, they just haven't been asked. It's just they hadn't saw the need yet. They frankly, you know, church runs around shooting itself in the foot so much and wasting so much time. You know, I don't blame people for not wanting to be part of, a, you know, a, a group that's wasting time or being weird or whatever. But, you know, just just invite your friends. And uh, I know a lot of you have been praying for them. You've been inviting them. This is a great opportunity. Just get it out there. Take it. Post it on Facebook. Pay, post it on TikTok. Paste it on Instagram or wherever, or however, or whatever it is you're doing, whether you're using any of the other platforms or well, but just, just take that video, uh, and get creative, get creative. You don't have to do it just standing in front of, you know, set a wall of books like, like I do, uh, you know, make you a little drama, make you a little skit, make it funny, make it serious. Just have God lead you. Um, I thought about, we all just have a little contest about which, <laughs> who ends up with the most views? One of y'all, knowing some of you guys, y'all probably go viral on this stuff. But anyhow, hey, keep it real. Don't blow your hand off. No fireworks or nothing. But but uh, just invite people to come. Uh, you know, uh, don't say no for somebody. Don't say no for somebody. And again, I hope that you get to be here. We're going to have a great time. It's wonderful to celebrate the, the resurrection. In fact, now, uh, if you hadn't heard, you're out there in internet land, and maybe this is the first time you've ever saw me, Victory Church in Scurry, Texas, 7325 South State Highway 34 in the big city of Scurry. Um, we're going to be having at 6 o'clock on Friday and Saturday night, uh, uh, Good Friday and Saturday, we'll be having service. Uh, uh, and then on, on Sunday morning, uh, we'll be at 10 o'clock. Okay. Uh, Mason's my son, uh, who's our youth pastor and our headmaster of our school is going to be speaking on Saturday night. He's a phenomenal preacher. And, uh, he and I are probably both going to talk about the resurrection on Sunday morning. Right now, my plan is to talk about the cross. You know, that's where, that's where we got to meet the Lord. And that's where he did so much for us. And I tell you what, Jesus saved me through the cross. And if I'm on glory in anything, I'm on glory in the cross. So, hey, we're going we're gonna to have a great time. I hope you get to be here, get to thinking about your video, get it made and get it out before this weekend. Okay, it needs to be out there. It's got to circulate a little while. All right, have a great time. <laughs> Make some good videos. Uh, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt nobody. Don't do nothing too silly. And uh, somebody goes, preach, what you got going on? Well, I got some boys in this church. You, you got to watch telling them to get creative because they'll come up with some silly stuff. But anyway, just uh, uh, have a good time with it. Invite people to come to church with you, and I hope you do. Have a great day today. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.